I'm back! I'm back! For those that don't know me, my name is Nas from Nas Daily and I make videos and today I am coming back to talk about one thing. It's this. My face. What's wrong with your face? <laughs> What's wrong with my face? Nothing and everything. See, the truth is, I grew up brown. I'm brown. I'm not white. And in today's world, if you're not white, you have it a little bit harder in life. I also grew up in a village. And in my village, there's no glass ceiling for us. There's a concrete ceiling. You can only be this successful. People don't expect you to change the world from a village. They expect you to live life and, and, and that's it. I'm also not the prettiest. I grew up feeling and thinking that I'm ugly and it's true I was ugly and maybe I am still ugly. This low self-confidence of me is, it, I'm not the only one who thinks badly of, of the way they look. And to top it all off, after 9-11 happened, it became even harder to succeed for Muslims like me. Brown average village Muslim. For people like me, it's harder to be heard, it's harder to get a job, it's harder to succeed because of the way we look. This is why I decided to work behind a computer screen because I wanted to hide my insecurities and low self-esteem. And I'm not the only one. There are billions of people who don't have the same opportunities because of how they look, where they are born, and how they are born. Billions of people around the world look at themselves and look at the world and say, I didn't win the lottery of life. But one day I got sick of hiding and made the best decision of my life. I closed my laptop, bought a camera, and pointed it at my brown face. Once a day, I'm gonna make one video that's one minute long. That's it. I told myself I'm gonna ignore my looks and my background and say whatever I wanna say, and I'm gonna say it proudly and confidently. And with these words, I went on a journey around the world. I talked about the genocide in Rwanda. By the time you finish watching this video, seven people will have died. The income inequality in Brazil. Favela. It's a term that means nothing to you if you're outside of Brazil. The generosity in Philippines. I want to see if I can have food, water, shelter for 0.00, $0 here in Manila. And the conflict in Israel and Palestine. The following video is in Arabic, Hebrew, and English because it needs to reach everybody. And before I knew it, People cared about what I had to say and not how I looked. How do you build content where people literally don't comment on your looks? They don't say you're ugly. They don't say you're beautiful. They don't. It's just not like I, the con. The message is so deep that my looks don't matter. It's incredible. It's incredible. It's incredible. My videos helped people out of depression, they said, and helped others out of prison, he said. I'm now free in Canada. I showed you the boiling river of Peru, the rocky mountains of Albania, the flat islands of the Maldives, the congested ones in Colombia, and the remote ones in Chile. It's a face in the middle of the island. There's nothing here. All of this wasn't easy. When I was sick, wishing I'd be dead at 3 p.m. in a hostel bed. Do two videos today. I can barely stand. I continued making videos. I met people face to face in the thousands in Malta, in Singapore, in Peru, and in Mexico. Three. Average village Muslim. I can really relate to his journey on a personal level. Brings the world back into harmony. It's important and critical. I love the impact. Nas has a big heart, huge inspiration for me. The energy, the excitement. I continued and gave a hundred underprivileged Filipino kids a fun day with their family. 
I hosted 300 Jews and Arabs at my home for dinner. I gave out two apartments for free in Israel and Palestine. I threw a real but fake wedding in India and another wedding in Papua New Guinea. And all of that I shared with you. I never missed a day, never let my insecurities demotivate me, and I never stopped. Nas Daily videos exploded and this average face was viewed 4 billion times. I got to meet the president of Malta, the president of Albania and the minister in Canada. I drank with the president of Armenia, hung out with the prime minister in Singapore and presented to the founder of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg. Slowly but surely, my confidence grew. Nothing is impossible if you have a good moral compass. At 5 p.m. on January 5th, 2019, as I went on stage after this 1,000 day journey, brown, average, village, Muslim were no longer in my head. In the real world, at the end of the day, people like us have it harder in life and women have it even harder. But if we just take control of our destiny and put ourselves out there, I swear to your God and my God that no matter how you look like, where you come from and what you believe in, you can change the world in your own way. Take me back to the jungle. That's why I'm coming back to make more videos every week for a hundred more weeks. Because if this village kid can do it, then you can too. See you next week.